We are standing outside of the factory. We have not gone in yet. Just got here and we are about to go see our boat for the very first time. And she is not actually on this floor right here. She is in the paint booth. So, yay! So they're just about to start spray painting the, um, the underside. So you can see the colors right here. <laughs> it looks so pretty, I love it. It's so wild to see them in there. I'll do this, it's just for dust protection. It's so wild to see them up there with like paint brushes, like hand painting all the through holes. It's gonna be so much work. This whole experience is one part shared giddiness and one part anxiety, as in hello imposter syndrome because it's hard to believe that this is our future home, especially as we're walking around, inspecting every inch, pretending to be discerning, and like this isn't a totally foreign experience. So that's all we're gonna get from that today, uh, because well, they're in their painting, and then we'll come back tomorrow and she's gonna look totally different. Oh, I can't believe we got to see that. Like, what a moment. So crazy. I am a little bit overwhelmed. Oh man, that was, that was impressive. And I want to explain a little bit of what was going on in there. The fresh air comes in through the roof and then the entire ceiling of that paint booth is just covered in filters to remove any contaminants that might be coming in the room. And then down on the bottom, on the sides of the paint booth, you'll see all the vents. Those are all sucking air out. They're sucking out all of the VOCs. And then under the holes, there's like two more fans like sucking air from underneath the holes. So all that air is going out the sides and it's going into this spot right behind me. It goes into this chamber here and it goes into like a water bath that removes the big particulates. And then from there, it pushes the air up it goes through a whole nother set of filters and then it goes over, out the building, up into the air. And they said the idea is all of the VOCs have been removed before it gets exposed to the outside world. And that is pretty incredible. I mean, what an experience to just walk in and see our boat. Okay, so here's the deal. They said they didn't save it for us. They didn't wait to paint for us. It just happened that they can't paint on days that aren't sunny. And today's a sunny day because they need humidity to be under 85%. So today's sunny, yesterday was not sunny. It just so happens that they painted the day that we got here. I mean, how, it's so cool. I don't know, I'm probably, I'm, I'm just like a kid jumping around, like all excited, but it's, yeah, <laughs> it was really neat. Amazing! The color is beautiful. I just don't bother me. I'm admiring. <laughs> we went back and forth on gel coat versus paint and talked to every expert and salty dog who had experience to share. And most all said the same thing. Painted boats are rare because it takes a ton of work, as in weeks of prep and sanding which is why most boats are gel coat or vinyl wrapped, because it's easier, faster, and more cost effective. But a good paint job is a low maintenance and can be beat. And this boat is built to be multi-generational and outlive us by a long shot. Plus, we kept thinking back to our conversation aboard Ticket to Ride. We're very big proponents in, it doesn't matter, and I wrote this in that blog post I told you about, that it doesn't matter if your boat is big or small or old or new or pink or gray or yellow, mm -hmm. you just have to love it. Mm -hmm. And boat love is part of that why not factor, because mm -hmm. that's what's gonna make you shine the bright work or clean the bottom or make sure the lines are working well. And, yeah. and that was part of this boat for us. Mm -hmm.
So this is Shaman, and this is kind of our hood for the next little while. And it's an absolutely gorgeous city. I had no idea what to expect when we booked our tickets to fly here. And first impressions, it's amazing. It's like a city within a park. There's greenery everywhere. The people are so friendly. The food is really good. There's like a whole street dedicated to coffee and the cars. I could make a whole video about all the amazing cars in here. Anyway, I digress. I just wanted to kind of give you a little glimpse of this beautiful city that we're in right now, but I am hyper focused on only one thing and that is the boat. So until we see our boat, this is gonna have to wait. And I'm super excited to bring you guys out and show you around the town because uh, it's gonna be, I just, yeah. Anyway, one track mine right now, the boat. Jason briefly mentioned the people, but I feel like I have to tell you about the people because I have never been anywhere where people have been so painfully accommodating. Like they go out of their way to try to have a conversation with you or to help you. If, because if they don't speak any English, which not a lot do, but you do find some, especially in this area, it's a bit more international, I suppose. But it's like we get somewhere if we're asking for directions or if we're at a restaurant or something like that, people will immediately whip out their phone and use their translator app and like talk into it and then show you, you know, and then you kind of go back and forth that way. So you can still have a conversation. You can still get the directions. You can still find what you need. And I don't know, it's just, I've never been anywhere else where that has been the immediate reaction of like, oh, we can't talk, hold on one second. Go run, get the phone, bust it out. And we've always used our phone for like reading a menu or signs and stuff like that, but never to like full on have a conversation quite as much as we have here. And then of course, like the translator app that we have is Google, which is blocked. Thankfully we have an offline version, but anyway, we'll get to that in a minute. I will say the biggest downside so far is, well, the fact that we don't speak Mandarin and we are attempting, but that is gonna be a long <laughs> journey. Here. Bye. Hall. Hall. Bye. Bye. Oh. Bye. Bye. Yes. The other is that there are so many apps and services that we rely on that are blocked here, like Google, which includes YouTube, and Meta, Facebook, and Instagram. We use these things, well, to communicate with all of you. But thanks to Surfshark VPN, today's sponsor, we have a way around that. Now, if you've never heard of Surfshark VPN before, it is an app and web browser extension that lets us change our IP address to virtually place ourselves anywhere in the world to unblock websites and content that we couldn't access otherwise. Because this isn't a problem that is unique to where we are right now. It happens to us over and over again because, well, not everything that we use that's native to us in the USA travels with us everywhere we go. So it's kind of a constant need. Ecuador is blocking YouTube live chat. But if we just open up Surfshark, place ourselves back in the USA, then voila, we have access to all of our apps again. And it's handy for getting around geo restrictions on apps like Netflix and Amazon Prime too. Plus it helps keep all of our devices safe while we're surfing the web. And we've always said that Surfshark is an invaluable tool for us as travelers, but right now we literally couldn't have posted this video without it. So thank you, Surfshark. And right now, if you use our discount code WINS, they'll give you three extra months for free. Now, if you're not sure if it's a good tool for you, no worries. They offer a 30 day money back guarantee, so there is no risk to try it out. I will leave a link down in the description box below, or Jason will also put a QR code somewhere on the screen here that you can scan. <sighs> All right, so I'm gonna post these photos and then I will see you back at the factory. There's the bell. That is the official lunch bell and welcome to our home. This is our third day at the factory, yet we have not stepped foot on our boat because while well, it's been in the paint booth, then it finally came out of the paint booth, then they had to level it, get it all set up, put ladders so that you can safely get on and all that sort of stuff. So now, here we are, we get to go aboard all together for, for the, the very, very first, first time. time. <laughs> <laughs> we are filming during lunchtime so that we're not in the way of the workers and the workers are not in the way of us so that we can properly all take our first gander all by ourselves. And of course, 
color is the first thing you notice. She just, she just looks so pretty. I love it. I don't know if you like it, but quite honestly, if you like it, comment. If you don't, don't say anything. Cause it doesn't matter. It's not changing and I love it. And that's all that matters. Oh, okay. First thing you notice is that we opted for the sideboarding gates just for convenience getting on and off of a dock because every time you're climbing a board, having to undo lifelines or whatever. Anyway, we just thought this was a very neat feature. And then of course we have our folding transoms which are not on yet, but then you can imagine this whole thing will all be closed off when everything is closed up. I mean, there is so much to talk about. Oh my goodness, we're gonna just settle in. I hope you've got popcorn and a beverage. All right, so the next thing is gonna be the helm station. So we have got dual aft helms. We've got a big cushy folding chair that comes out right here. So you'll be able to sit here and kind of kick back and relax as you are sailing along. Just, you know, have to get kind of creative with the thinking for the moment because the wheel, remember, rotates either side. So whatever we're outboard, be sitting here or we'll be kind of standing right about here. You can be all the way to here, looking forward, or we come all the way over. And now we'll be sitting here, looking forward, all completely protected and super loungy with our cup holders, so smart thinkers. Which brings us to our aft seating, which is facing forward. So this is just a lounge area. We've got a nice big cushion here. The dinghy sits at a good spot, so it's up high enough, but yet also not Too in blocking the, way. the view. Exactly. Right. Of course, if you look underneath here, you can tell this is all going to be storage. So a lot of space for everything. Extra crew cabin. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh -huh. You sounded just like Dracula. <laughs> just like it. Comment below if you agree. <laughs> Take that shot. <laughs> Plus we have two big aft transom lockers as well. So I don't know what all kind of toys we're gonna put in there yet. I haven't even thought that far ahead. It was supposed to just be a B-roll shot, but I can't help myself. I almost forgot about this. Look at all the shelving in there. They've actually thought about the fact that you're gonna need to keep things down there and they've given you shelves and cubbies in which to place things. And it'll be a carbon fiber, super lightweight door, not uh... Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> also just the size of it, the fact that they custom make all of these big hatches so that they're bigger, they're wider, easier to get in and out of. Of course, we've got cup holders on this side as well, and then just mirrored, both sides will essentially be identical. You'll be able to do almost, almost everything. Almost everything from both sides. Yeah, really, I think those seats, especially as long as the sun is not beating down at sunrise, sunset, Gonna be a great cushy seat hang out and lounge at. Yeah, welcome to the cockpit. This is where we will spend most of our time, no doubt, because it's just the best place to be. So we've got seating. This is our L-shaped seating. We'll have a nice big table right here. There are, you can't see it right now because it's taped up, but there are storage spots. So maybe you want to put a phone, a tablet, binoculars, anything. And you now you actually have a secure place to set those things as you're sitting here a drink, whatever. It's, it's the little details that all matter. This is our big opening safari window right out here. So you will be able to still have, it will look just like this. Yeah, exactly. It open. They've just installed this one. They're working on these right now, we were told. So this one also folds up. I'm not going to attempt to open yeah. it because I don't know if I can yet. Yeah. And I don't want to- so They literally just installed it. Yeah, they were just working on the doors and the windows. So this is all nice and free flowing and open. Then we have another lounge area right here with again, the little recessed storage cubbies for whatever the heck you want. And right here is where all of the lines drop down to, but it's a nice little hidden compartment with a container here. It looks really slick. We'll, we'll see that soon when we get this furniture in. <laughs> Stepping in. We're gonna have nice waterfall cabinetry here, rounded edges, not hard, knock your hips up sort of vibes. We've got fridge and freezer here. And then of course, the galley. You're gonna have to use your imagination because of course, still under construction. Sink is here. This is gonna be me doing the dishes because we have not found a dishwasher yet. So I'll be spending a lot of time here. 
for those of you that know. Do you want to tell people your one spot we're considering? We just got to measure it out and see if it's going to work now that we're on the boat. Right here is a spot for the drop-in countertop style dishwasher. It might or might not work. Stay tuned. We'll let you know. Got countertop space, countertop space, counter, counter, counter. We've got a lot of space. Stove top will be right here, of course. Electric induction. There's no propane on this vessel. Nice L shape, so good and secure in here while you're working away. Always got a leaning surface. That's a big thing for me. We'll pretend that's our table. <laughs> This is... I hope it looks nicer than that. <laughs> Come on. You've seen the table. They look beautiful. Okay. So the, the table will be here. We've got nice big loungy salon area. And we've got two big cons cons storage, <laughs> storage compartments. Trying to buy those words. Nice size. And we've got two pull-out drawers. And this drawer, smart as they are, they put a nice outlet inside this drawer for me because of course, this will most likely be where I will be working most of the time from my computer. So I'll have a nice outlet and be able to hide all of my stuff in this drawer so that it's not out and you don't have cords going everywhere. And then of course, there's another outlet that's on the outside down here. Outlets is a running theme. We were very concerned about, will there be enough outlets being the electrical people that we are with 9 million cameras and toys and everything else, but there are loads of outlets all throughout this stuff, including USB-C. Yes, so, and then now's yeah. a good time because I can see that window is huge. Yes, that whole freaking thing is one window that opens. That's the safari style window. So as you can tell, airflow would not be a problem on this vessel <laughs> because it's all open, all open, free flowing all the way through. It's gonna be good. And then I will let you I hear this. the I hear the builder. This hey Paul! Oh I see you. There you are. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> Cameo. Yeah, right. Um, alright, so I'm gonna let you take over this next one because that's gonna be mostly your space. Okay. Nice, yes. nice office chair. <laughs> I am going I haven't shopped to my office chair yet, but it's gonna be good. And hopefully I can find it here in Shaman somewhere because um, it would be nice to not ship it from somewhere random. Anyway, okay, super comfortable chair here. That's the plan. This is my nav station and my office, my workstation, literally everything. So there's a big carbon fiber panel going right here that's super clean, and I still can't tell you about what we're doing. I think maybe in a couple weeks, maybe I'll have the... The okay. okay. But it's gonna be amazing. Anyway. Plenty of room for a laptop. It's a big desk. Yeah, almost six feet wide. Yeah. It's huge. That's Very nice. And then massive airflow, just yeah. like Nikki was saying on the other side, this whole thing's gonna go up. Obviously there's shades that cover the window, so if I'm working on editing, then I don't want that light blasting in. I might shut that window. Two storage things here. One, two. I have pull-out drawers all behind me. Lots of outlets. They're gonna have USB. C and A underneath, and a one, two, thirty volt outlet all underneath. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. And then I guess we might as well talk about all this black around me. And also height. Oh, like. oh well, yeah. You can almost touch. Wow. <laughs> all this is black because it's carbon fiber. So everything here you see today is black is carbon fiber. And I think about 50%, maybe slightly less than 50% of this boat, the OC model is carbon fiber. Even more if you're getting the SC. Yeah, the SC has like 50-50 and I think the OC is 40-60. Um, Just spinning but, on your options. But yeah, with the options, it gets up to almost 50-50. All the important stuff, it's super okay. strong. Um, should we go down? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Mind the gap. Mind the gap. All right, this is the owner's hall. This will be our wardrobe, drawers, got a nice long shelf that runs the entire length here, a little seating area, another cabinet, or half of it might get taken up with the dishwasher. We shall see. This is our bed, got three cubby holes, I believe and a nice 
gigantic window, and of course, windows all the way here. And no complex curves. No. And glass. All the windows are toughened glass, no funky curves. God help me if I ever have to do anything with this. There should never be any issues with the windows. This would be like our safari windows. This would be like your safari windows. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. So how hard do I have to go to actually break it? Uh, I'm not sure. Try again. <laughs> <laughs> now are you stoked about this? That's huge. Oh my gosh. Huge. This is not even all of it. This is just one, one wardrobe. Because if you just keep walking a little further, you got a whole nother one right here. Now, granted, this is gonna be a washer dryer here, but we still have cabinets, drawers, drawers, drawers. And again, nice long big shelf all the way here. And then this is our head or our bathroom. We've got a lovely medicine cabinet here that will have storage. Then of course, our tech space will be behind that. And of course, the tech space. I, you know, cause I got it. We've already talked about this before, but this is the same thing. Okay. Yeah. The tech space, it's just a thing of beauty. Sink will be here. We've got our toilet will be here. More cabinetry, shelving, shelving. And then I think I can step in here. This is our shower, shelving, windows, a hatch right above for ventilation, another window here, more ventilation, air flow, again, not a problem. All right, another hole. Again, mind the gap. Got the steps, so those will be going in soon. We won't have to do that anymore. We've got a nice big wardrobe here for the guest cabin. Guest cabin is pretty much the same size as the owner's cabin. Then this is the guest head. Shower will be here. Escape hatch is here, which will actually make for kind of a cool showering experience because then you will see the water and you'll have light kind of beaming up from underneath there, which will be lovely, no doubt. We've got sink here. Toilet will be over here, and there's some cabinetry and some other stuff I can't quite remember, to be honest. And then, the most exciting part. The workshop! We are going to have a portable fridge freezer right here. There will be a pull-out drawer underneath. There's gonna be cabinetry all throughout here, so we'll have lots of storage for spares and gear and stuff and things. And we've got shelving here, and we've got more drawers and a drawer with an outlet again, so you can have all of your like power tools and everything charging, cameras charging, whatever, right inside the drawer. You don't even have to leave it out on the counter. Yep, you. I'm yeah. so excited about that. I know, but I mean, come on. Because it, look, boats fail. I don't care if they're new or not. You just have new boat problems or you got old boat problems. All boats got problems. Like inevitably something is gonna happen. And then at least we've got somewhere to work on that. So you've got, you'd have all your tools right here. It's like a little mini garage. It's a workshop. Yeah. I'm stoked about this. Same thing with the ventilation. Yep, got hatches and then That's this, the batteries. Yes, will also be access to the batteries, which is very cool. And of course, everything is gonna be air conditioned. Yes! <laughs> you got so much battery power and so much solar. Why, Why not? not run it? God, I'm surprised how much black is in this boat. It's I didn't... a lot of carbon. Yeah. I More so than I thought it was gonna be. That's for sure. It's a Black everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Strong boat. Strong boat. Before we head out on the deck and go explore forward, um, I kind of wanted to just talk about the overall feel of the space and the size of this boat and everything else because, well, <laughs> just now getting to see all of that, especially the workshop super super excited about that i wasn't sure how much space there would actually be in there when you convert what is normally just a bed into a workshop but so far i feel like it's 
more than enough space for the two of us or for obviously two crew on top of that. So the 55s and the 50s are so big, it was always hard to imagine exactly how much space there would be in the kind of the finished product. But it's not even done, the space is not finished out, but it already feels good. Like not overwhelming, not too much like, holy crap, how are we gonna handle this, maintain this? No, it's just right. It's like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. It's just the right size. It's just right. One thing is as soon as we step up here, the entire deck is covered in sea deck. So it's all gonna have the nice foam decking, which means it'll be cool to your feet and it will be comfortable to walk on. Two things right off the bat. One is, you don't see it here, but our stanchions, so we've got nice tall lifelines, which I'm really happy about. So those, you know, most of them only come to here, but we have the extra tall ones, very happy about that. Just makes you feel so much more secure. You can actually lean on it, feel secure. Um, and then fiber stanchions. So no polishing, nice and sturdy. Don't have to worry about corrosion. Very happy about that. <laughs> and a huge rooftop. And this is gonna be so much solar on there. I'm so excited about that as well. Oh man. These windows, my oh my, they are just massive. It's just crazy. So we've got our self-tacking stay cell here. We've got locker, 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 locker. Lots of storage up here. There were so many different boats at the boat show when we were in Le Grandmont that had really thin metal, metal stairs. Steps, oh. Which just, somebody's gonna get hurt on those. Anyway, so I'm very pleased with how our steps came out because they're nice, they're sturdy. They've got rounded corners. You're not gonna hurt yourself because you're gonna, at some point, be in a bit of a hurry to get up here. So sturdy, nicely spaced out. So getting up onto the cabin top is good. <laughs> you can have a dance party up here. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, it's a nice big sail locker. Not as big as the 50 or the 52, but it's still a nice size sail locker. We've got one on either side. This is where I foresee our bicycles going because it's that big. Custom carbon, not a standard hatch, which is really nice. Oh, I think that's about it. That covers the boat as it currently is. So you've seen it, we've seen it, and now all the workers are gonna start to come back in here and get busy on it. So we're gonna have to get the hay out of here so that we're not in their way. But thank you so much for watching. Um, lots to come. We will also give you a tour around this fabulous city of where we are and so many other things to come. Very excited about being here. I've already said thanks for watching, but I'm just a little overwhelmed at the moment. So thank you again for watching. If you wanna see the journey thus far, I will leave a link to the playlist somewhere here on the screen so that you can catch up. Here. Apparently there. Here. And uh, we will see you next Sunday. Bye. Bye. There's the bell.